like and subscribe to the channel, and perhaps the overlord will not know that you did not like the design of PS5. What is the worst thing you've overheard while pretending to be asleep, NSFW? When I was a kid, I used to be scared of monsters or something creeping up on me in my sleep, so I would always ask my dad to check on me before he went to bed. It made me feel more comfortable. One night, I was still awake when I heard him coming up the stairs, and I wasn't supposed to be awake and knew I would get in trouble if he saw me, so I pretended to be asleep. He came into my room and just kinda stared at me for a few seconds, then came up close to my bed, lifted the blanket up, parted under it, turned around and left. It's been at least 15 years and I remember that night vividly. He vehemently denies it to this day, but I know what happened. I pretended to sleep through the doctor sitting at my kitchen table telling my dad he had stage 3 cancer. I was 9. He's totally fine now. But it really sucked at the time. Sleeping over at a friend's house when I was 14, all of us on the floor in living room. Couldn't sleep. Two of my friends, guy and girl, directly next to me start doing freaky things to each other. I was extremely shy and a couple of years younger than them, so I stayed quiet and hoped they'd stop. Had to listen to them for an hour while she made weird ass moaning squeaky noises and he was singing in a weird slightly whispery singy voice, Matchbox 20 songs to her while he did whatever he was doing. That was last time I slept over at a friend's house. Um feo that is weird as fuck. Asterisk I N C O L L E G E asterisk W O K E up to room it's bed creaking, I shoot up to see what the hell is going on. There I see some woman on her back with her legs full spread eagle and my room had just pile driving it like it was his last day on earth. Like a good bro I quickly lie back down and pretend to be asleep pointer, asterisk I in between gasps of air is your room at awake, him, nor he sleeps through anything. Cut to next morning point I casually get up and turn on my PlayStation 2 and start playing some random game. Rumors fling gets up and casually comes over and sits next to me pointer, good morning asterisk my name me, good morning asterisk her name her, did you sleep good last night, me, yeah, I can sleep through anything. As the last word left my mouth I immediately realize I blew it. She began a huge flurry of slaps at my roommate while cursing at him. He didn't care because he was too busy laughing the whole time. Edit, this is my first major comment of reddit thanks for all the updates and awards. I'm glad I could make so many people laugh. And just to clarify for anyone asking, I did not realize who she was in the 0.05 seconds when I shot up in a haze, so to me, she was some random woman until the morning when I was able to realize who it was she didn't really hit him hard, but it was a flurry of frustration slaps, no real harm was done you didn't fuck up. That was the absolute best thing you could have possibly said. She asked him. It was the perfect setup. He would have regretted not saying it for the rest of his life. My mom trying to calm my dad down out of a suicidal fit. My brother and I had been really bad that day and when he grounded us, we both told him that we hated him and wanted him to go away, he didn't do anything wrong, my brother and I were just a couple of immature little cunts. D. I'm pretty sure blackout drunk at this point, which I had never seen and still haven't saw since then, walked into our room that night and I pretended to fall asleep. Then he just started these deep, haunting sobs that I'll probably never forget. He stumbled outside and we could hear him begging my mom to let him die and sobbing all I've ever wanted in my entire life was to be a better dad than mine. I was only 11 or so, but it fucking destroyed my heart. I think that's the time I learned that emotional pain can actually physically hurt. I was hunched over in my bed bawling my eyes out and on the verge of throwing up, I also felt like an asshole for crying over what we said. My brother was thankfully able to sleep through it all. I think about that once every two weeks or so and I always message him to tell him I love him when I do. I hope he forgot about it, but being a dad myself now, I don't think it's something you totally forget. It might not hurt like it did in the moment, but I don't think you forget. Like most heartbreaking things I guess. 
by then stepmom's nephews talking about what they would do to me sexually if given the chance. I was 14, they were 17, 19, and 21. Thankfully the window to the motorhome was slightly open and my dad heard the entire thing. I was scared of boys for a long time after that. Edit, thank you everyone for your comments of support. A lot of people are asking what happened after. This all happened while we were camping on the Oregon coast. My dad ripped them a new one, and that was the end of it. About a year later, the youngest one tried to grope me when I was trying to sleep, but I was able to cover myself, and he gave up. The next day I told him I knew what he tried to do, and I would tell my dad if he didn't stop. He acted like he didn't know what I was talking about, but he never tried again. A year or so after that, they got divorced, and I never had to see her or her crazy family again. I'm so sorry for those of you who have similar stories. It's been almost 30 years since this incident, and I feel like I have a very healthy view of relationships now. I hope you all are happy and healthy too. 3 Thank you for the awards as well. These are the first two I've ever received, and goes to show how awesome most people are. 3. My mom getting the shit beat out of her update, thanks for everything guys, like I said in a reply, it was 30 years ago. He and my mom were married on slash off, until about 7 years ago, when he put her in the hospital and I ended up breaking his nose and a rib. No idea where he is now, but she knows, if she ever talks to him again, or mentions him, she loses a son. Update 2, I noticed some people following me. You really don't want to do that, I'm what you call a very nice asshole. I do argue about stupid meaningless shit, and have a very strong opinion against racism and fascists. I've only posted one original content here. I wasn't pretending to be asleep so much as they assumed I was asleep. My in-laws thought I was still napping after dropping my kid off at school, and they started to shit talk me. They said I was a terrible mom. I didn't care about my kids at all, and they better buy a cake, because I would rather sleep all day than make him a cake. It was his birthday and my god, it was only 10am, it doesn't take that long to make and frost a cake for him. Anyways, I cried in my room for 2 hours before they left to buy groceries i.e. drink themselves into a stupor before I got up and made the cake and birthday dinner my child asked for. I didn't tell my husband what they said until a week later because I didn't want to ruin his or my child's day. I was at my BF's apartment staying over, his roommate also happened to have some friends who were dating there as well, I was in my BF's room and they were sleeping in the living room. They were definitely fucking. Weirdest thing of it all were these literal banging sounds, like someone was hitting the fucking wall. The whole time I had to piss like a motherfucker, but getting to the bathroom involved walking by the living room and I did not wanna risk it. When we woke up the next morning someone had ripped a chunk out of one of the curtains and the TV remote was snapped in half. To this day I don't wanna know what the fuck was going on in there. Dude just do it. It's not like she'll remember she's asleep it's okay to touch her last night. Noped out ta there so fucking quick edit. Okay so I didn't expect this to blow up like it it holy fuck for those of you asking yes I'm okay. I woke up the second I heard it and pretended not to hear anything I just went to the kitchen to get water and call my mom. I was sleeping in my friend's room while she was in the shower. Everything is okay she understood and very upset about it thank you for all the nice comments. Jesus Christ, glad you got out of there. Hope you're doing okay. Found out my dad's best friend died. They have been friends since they were literally 5 years old, went to the same schools, stayed best friends for 50 years when he became an alcoholic and cut off contact with everybody. My dad still reached out to him multiple times, even though he obviously wasn't ready. He eventually got off the drink and they became really close again and were calling each other every day. I woke up to the phone ringing and my dad looking at it and immediately saying to my mom oh god I think he's dead. He knew that she only called when something bad was up and he had been hospitalized multiple times because of his drinking. I remember saying on a post years ago that I dread to think of the day that his best friend died because I knew it was coming soon because of his past. 
My dad is old and is the type of guy who just wants a chat and I know a lot of people he talks to don't want to do that. Anyway, I heard it all unfold and pretended to sleep because I just did not know what to say. I couldn't imagine losing a best friend for that long. I sat in my bed for hours thinking about it, but just laying still. I didn't fully process it until I went to work and I spent nearly 2 hours crying in the toilets. That was the only time I cried in my adult life. My mom and I were sharing a hotel room on a trip and unfortunately only had one bed, so we had to share that too. As I was trying to fall asleep, I kept hearing the text tone from my mom's phone going off and her giggling. My parents hate each other, so I knew it wasn't my dad she was texting with. Curious, I opened my eyes just a little bit to see that she was flirting with other men while on a trip with her family and I was in fact staring at a dick pic. I couldn't really go back to sleep after that. When I was 9 years old, my father had an old work buddy over. They sat in the living room drinking scotch, talking about life. I had just moved into my new bedroom which was right next to the living room. I feel that my father forgot I was sleeping next door. I was fascinated listening as they caught up on life, family, work, etc. I heard my father describe my older sister, older by 3 years. And then I heard him describe me, she's good, she's young, she's not as mature as her older sister. I wish she would stop being so emotional. It's such a drain. She acts much younger than her age. I was horrified. I was hurt. I tried to grow up fast after that. I buried my feelings. I buried them deep. As an adult, I'm still trying to get in touch with my feelings. I don't know if this has anything to do with what he said or if this is just a part of being an evolved adult. It's not dramatic, but it hurt to hear my father criticize me when he thought I was out of earshot. I never forgot it. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and in the next video, I will sell the eye.